Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Belfast, starring Kay Triona Belfi, Judy Dench, Jamie Dorden, Kieran Hines, Colin Morgan, and Jude Hill, directed by Kenneth Branagh. Now, welcome to this year's annual Academy Award review nominees for Best Picture, starting with Belfast. So, I remember going to movie theaters for this and absolutely having a great time with it. Is it still the case? Let's get into it and you'll see. We start off with Belfast, Ireland in today's world, and we compare it to Belfast back in 1969 where it's in black and white. And when I first saw this in theaters, I was confused about what was what this was as I thought it was in black and white the whole time. But give it at least a minute or two. And we start with Buddy, played by Jude Hill, as he was playing outside with until his mother, let's call her Ma, played by Katrina Balfi, calls him in, in for tea. And a fight between the Irish and the Germans gets out of control as Buddy watches briefly as Ma gets... But he and his older brother will in the house, and it starts the limit off on the PG-13 amount of F words, which will be said I think two or three times in this movie. I could be wrong, but the violence felt real, despite I wasn't alive back then. But it's powerful filmmaking by director Kenneth Branagh, as Pa, played by Jamie Dornan, comes home and Mom Pa's chemistry is typical married couple life, and there are there's arguments for sure. And they go to the house of Granny, played by Judy Dench, and Pop, played by Kieran Hines, and watch an episode of Star Trek. Which, when I showed this to my mother, it reminded her of when she watched Star Trek as a kid. And I really like that this movie tells the story under a point of view of Buddy. And the actors are very good in this role. Even Jamie Dornan, despite I reviewed him before in Trolls 2 World Tour... I'll unfortunately know him as Christian Grey, excuse me, in Fifty Shades of Grey, as this may be his best performance in his career. And the other actors, like Katrina Belfi, whom I reviewed back in Ford vs. Ferrari, and she's great here as well, and Judy Dench and Kieran Hines have a beautiful chemistry towards each other, and Jude Hill as Buddy is very good, despite I've never seen him in anything before. The cinematography in black and white is a very smart choice on Kenneth Branagh's part. It is beautifully shot, as this movie is beautifully shot. Buddy, after a church service, goes to his aunt's place, and Buddy is encountered to play, encountered by a Billy Clayton, Clanton, who wants Pa to join them in war, as he doesn't want to, and the family go to a film for educational reasons, which is the film I've never seen before in my life as... As Pa goes out of town, he and Ma have an argument that'll keep him out of jail. As Buddy overhears, which is a haunting but great shot, Buddy goes to school and expresses interest with Catherine as he's in love with her, and he wants to marry her in the future. Which is very cute that he wants to marry her in the future, even though they're kids, and their chemistry is sweet by both of these child actors. Buddy witnesses Billy punching a worker in the face, which is pretty damn brutal as he expects a word that means yes from Pa, as Buddy is afraid of Billy, which looks obvious. Buddy is walking to school with Mary, who's in a gang and is such a bad influence as she talks Buddy into joining. And these are things I've been through as a kid while he is now sitting in front of Catherine. And this script is very smart and is a great history lesson for anyone, in my opinion. Buddy is at the Granny and Pop's house, and sees them dancing like they're madly in love. And I love this scene. While well, the next scene you know, Buddy passes the flowers to Catherine, which is such a beautiful, which is such a beautiful scene. And Mary gets an assignment for Buddy to steal chocolate. And as he does, steals Turkish Delight as it was a quick grab. And he tells, and he's told Pa is home. And he and Ma have rather a brutal talk as it ends with Ma throwing plates at him. And, and the next scene, you know, Buddy with Pa is told Pop is going to the hospital. And Pa takes Buddy to school and Billy is at school, the school and gets to get an answer from Pa. As he says he'll get when he gets it. It is frightening for a kid to see his father having an enemy while he gets home. 
He sees a police officer solving a crime that Buddy stole, stole as he confesses he didn't eat the chocolate, which is normal for a kid that age, I'll say, to go through. And the movie does a great job at telling a story under a kid's point of view. Pa talks about moving to Sydney, Australia with Buddy and Will, as well as Ma and Ma, and Buddy are against it. And Ma thinks about it while talking with Mary's mother and thinks how could she leave Belfast, which is a real complication as it feels real as it's a great thing to make it real. The dialogue can be at times funny in an innocent kind of way, and the script is smart and beautiful to watch and to come to life on screen. Ma and Pa talk about moving to Sydney as they have decided by Christmas morning. And it's amazing how much I'm really liking this movie. Pa is in the hospital as it's Christmas time and Betty and Buddy once goes with Granny to a theater to watch a Christmas carol on a stage. And she talks sort of out loud in a quietly kind of way. And they go to a home on a bus and talk about what Pa is going to do for, with the family during Christmas break and as he arrives home she's going she goes with them to the movies to go see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang which i which I have to confess I've never seen it myself we get to Christmas morning and has a word with Buddy and Will about about moving to England and Buddy is sad about it and says he doesn't want to leave Belfast as they'll try again at Easter, and Pa doesn't believe they'll have until Easter, and I agree with that, because of all the wars going on in the streets of Belfast, and I do really like the scenes as they're acted very well. The next scene, Buddy hangs out with Pa while reading a Thor comic book, and Mary takes Buddy and the gang and goes to war with the government and breaks into a supermarket and ta takes whatever they want as Buddy involves Ma that he and Mary took things from the supermarket. Buddy tries to return it, but the angry mob is telling them to take it as Billy is with the war. And Billy put pulls out a gun and Pa comes in and throws a brick at Billy. And gets arrested and the family get back home wondering what they're going to do with the cereal buddy took from the supermarket as most of the climax is so far very realistic as th was this whole movie and ma decides to go get out of belfast and pa and buddy are in the hospital where pop is about and he is and he agrees they have to leave for good while buddy and Catherine finish their project together get a gold star while Buddy gets to Pa saying Pop's passed away at the hospital and Granny's depressed about it. She can't move any further and they have the funeral and have another funeral party to celebrate the person they were and they're about to move as they say their goodbyes and to Catherine and Granny and go to the bus stop and as Granny says as they're leaving, don't look back. And it's a powerful way to end this movie, and hopefully this or Dune will win the best picture of the year. I'm going to doubt that, but we'll see what happens. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.9 out of 10. This movie is very well made as the script is smart and absolutely innocent in a funny kind of manner because it follows the point of view of a little boy and does a great job at it. The actors do great acting and deliver great performances as the characters have chemistry that works absolutely tremendously. The cinematography in black and white is a beautiful and beautifully shot and a smart choice as this movie felt very real as I would recommend watching this as a history lesson with the point of view of a little boy. And so far between the other nominations, I hope either this or Dune will win Best Picture of the Year of 2022. It's going to be very doubtful, but I really want those one of those two to win. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me and next time I will be back with a different show, and until then, and the Oscar goes to.